Here in this video we will showcase the 8 subspecies, mutated specimens and hybrids of the Yautja predators. Many channels have showcased the individuals of the same subspecies and branded them as a different type. So here we will overrule that all and definitely tell you which predators are part of which subspecies. So let's get to it. Firstly, the classic hunter predator. This is the most common type of predator and one might actually say the most dominant subspecies or race of their home planet. Individuals of this category are the original jungle hunter, the city hunter, the ones from AVP and even the ancient predator which although holds a nice name is still a member of the hunter subspecies. They are characterized by their smaller mandibles, very bulbous head, yellowish scaly skin uh, which seems to be less armored than the other subspecies and has small quill-like hairs that grow on their chest, shoulder and upper arms. They are around 7 feet tall and more massive than a normal person. Number 2. The Feral Predator It is the smallest of all the predators and it was seen in the new movie called Prey. The Feral Predator is around 2 meters tall which means around 6 feet 6 inches. It was also not as bulky as the others but had a very agile athletic physique with ripped muscles and a set of long quills on its shoulders. Its skin texture was way different as it had kind of a hard scaly armored skin which was brown and black in color and also had a reddish coloration along the spine on its back. The skull seems to be narrower and less bulbous than the others. Even the yellowish eyes are situated more apart and on a higher elevation on the skull. The mandibles are very long thereby giving it a larger and wider mouth. Number 3. The Super Predator Also known as the Berserkers, they are more than 7 feet tall. They are essentially a larger, stronger version of the jungle hunter predators. They have a more reptilian appearance than their better known cousins and have a scaly skin in addition to different color pigmentation which includes red and brown. Although another feature of theirs is the dreadlocks which are far more swept back than those found on others. They also possess a longer face giving them a small snout and a more reptilian looking effect. Uh, their skull is less bulbous and has armored outgrowths with a muscular appearance in between that is reddish in color. They are seen in the 2010 movie Predators. Number 4. The Predalien This is a hybrid of a xenomorph and a Yautja. Well, technically a xenomorph type that came out of a predator in the movie AVP Requiem. It is 10 feet tall or 3 meters and was more powerful than other predators owing to its xenomorph biology. It has a xenomorph queen-like head crest with the dreadlocks of the Yautja combined. There are 4 mandibles but also a xenomorph mouth in between. This creature has a long tail which it uses to fight and balance with. Uh, the claws are bigger, longer and sharper. The entire body is also bulkier and had hints of an exoskeleton although not as prominent as those of basic xenos as well as the queen. Number 5. The Upgrade Predator Also known as the Ultimate Predator or the Assassin Predator, it was a genetically modified Yauja and the arch nemesis of another one called the Fugitive Predator. His DNA was an amalgamation of various creatures spliced together to enhance the size, strength and abilities. Standing at 11 feet tall or 3.3 meters, he was vastly taller, faster, stronger and infinitely more durable than a normal predator and he could manipulate his body to grant him unnatural abilities. He also possessed bulletproof exoskeletal skin that could reflect gunfire at close range and even shattered the predator's classic weapon, the wrist blades. Number 6. The Mutated Predator Initially appearing as a typical Yautja, a hunter, the unnamed hunter soon became subject to heavy mutation following the exposure to the black goo, the liquid, the engineer xenomorph liquid and had mutated so violently that it only vaguely resembled that of its species. The predator is 8 to 9 feet tall and was extremely powerful able to tear off a Yautja's arms off with ease and break a bio helmet in half with a single punch. It had another arm that grew on its left shoulder which thereby shows its mutation in a very obvious way. And instead of 4 mandibles in its mouth it had a set of 10 that allows it extra powerful bite force but then it also had difficulty in breathing after the mutation. Number 7. The Fugitive Predator Also known as the Rogue Predator, it was a Yautja slash human hybrid and a rival of the Upgrade Predator. 
Despite killing humans, the fugitives' aim was to deliver a weapon known as the Predator Killer to humanity so that they could fend off an invasion of some kind. It was 7 feet 8 inches tall and the only one from its type. It was slimmer than the others, but then had the same look as a classic hunter subspecies and not much difference, except for the human DNA that it possesses inside of it. And lastly, the Proto Predator. Although not seen in detail, it was shown in the comics, or at least theorized to have existed. In the comics Predator Homeworld, which states that it was an extinct subspecies that the others evolved from, it was theorized to have been an earthly animal called a therapsid, and that might have either been taken off world by engineers for experiments, or might have evolved and developed space travel later on and then left Earth for Yautja Prime. But then, this is still a theory. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash the bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.